This is this is going to be a while, <laughs> so I hope you're I hope you're comfortable. Um, so hi, uh, my name is Joshua Davis. Uh, again, thanks to Adobe for for flying me out. Uh, I'm in a t-shirt. <laughs> it's fucking cold in New York right now. <laughs> like fuck yeah, I'll come. What's the theme? Pink dildo? I'm there. Uh, anything to get out of the cold. So cold. Uh, so this is this this is bad because it should be pretty. I'm the pretty guy. I design pretty. I don't design. I don't design uh, ugly. Um, so this was a, a bit of a, a bit of a stretch for me, but you'll see um, where I'm where I'm going with this. I thought. Uh, well, a couple things is is no one's ever seen this presentation before. This is so. No, this is, this is not going to be good. This is not going to go well at all. Uh, and then by the time I was done, I was like, 219 slides. <laughs> what, what could go wrong? Uh, so that's ugly. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, no one's ever seen this before. And then, and the funny thing is, is that because it's the theme of ugly, like I went through like 18 years worth of work and pulled out all the really bad stuff. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna just show them like all the really shitty stuff that I've done over 18 years, knowing that no one was gonna see this. And they're like, oh yeah, we're filming it. We're gonna put it online. I'm like, oh God. Uh, so there's that. Um, so with ugly, I, I tried to do a couple of things, which is, uh, we're gonna go in the past, right? Because the ugliest stuff is the shit that you did 18 years ago. Uh, like, your, the first website I ever did was just terrible, and so we should totally check that out. Uh, and then the, the interesting thing is, is, is that I'll also show stuff that, you, like, you know, sometimes we're so precious with our design work that it, it's always that polished, beautiful stuff that, you know, we put on our Behance pages or that we put on our websites. So, uh, in a lot of ways, uh, you're, you're not showing all the shitty stuff that got to that point. So what I thought I would do is kind of walk through time, uh, show kind of my story of where I got to where I was, and then show all the terrible mistakes that I made that led to that pretty work. But again, a lot of the stuff that I did in the past was, uh, was pretty ugly. Uh, so uh, this is actually my first website. Uh, and I built this in um, 1995, and the browser was Netscape 2. And I, uh, I, didn't, I was a painter, I didn't know anything about programming, and so I gave myself a project, and the project was to try to figure out the internet. Uh, and so um, it was Netscape 2 at the time, I think when I got on it, it was right around 95 or so. 94, 95, and this was the first project that I gave myself to teach myself HTML and JavaScript. And at the time, you know, uh, we all had uh, shitty video cards, and so uh, most computers could only display 256 colors. So out of 256, there were 216 colors, you know, that part of that WebSafe palette. So I actually built this tool where I could try to figure out color uh, uh, on the internet. So it was this tool where I could look at the color palette and you could select it. Like I didn't know what hexadecimal was and, you know, I would pick a color and be like, that's AF82, you know. It would show me what the hex number was. So I, this was like my first project to teach me uh, the internet. And uh, so I ran this for a long time, and then around 1998, I started a project called PreyStation. Now, does anybody, does anybody know PreyStation? Okay, now, does anybody know the first year of PreyStation? The first year. The very first year, like, when this shit, I was doing this stuff. Uh, so the very first, now, it was like 1998, and I, that was like, I bought PreyStation.com, and I was like, fuck yes! I was like so excited. I could have bought Nike.com. I could have, you know, I, 
I could have bought anything. I was like, oh my God, it's not taken. Like, of course it wasn't fucking taken. Like, you could have had Coke.com if you wanted. Uh, but I was so excited. I bought PlayStation.com, .net, .org. I high-fived everybody. I was very excited. Uh, <laughs> and... I really enjoyed video games, uh, and so I thought, yeah, PlayStation's gonna be like, you know, me high five in the video game industry. Uh, and so the very first year of PlayStation, I really was uh, doing a riff off of um, off of uh, video games, and and I would like take screenshots, like you can see Pitfall up at the top there. But I would I would kind of reimagine the video game in really fun and, and bad ways. Um, there was a, a a video game at the time called You Don't Know Jack. Does everybody know this game? It's like You Don't Know Jack, and it was like really absurd questions. So I did You Don't Know Drag, and I went to a, a, a drag queen show and took a bunch of pictures of drag queens and asked them questions that no one could answer. And then the game was called You Don't Know Drag Queen. <laughs> you know the theme is ugly, right? <laughs> uh, so this was actually the very first year of, of PlayStation. It was, it was bad. Um, I was doing a lot of really strange things. Uh, is the lighting, can I just have all the lights down? Just totally dark would be, yeah, ooh, intimate. Uh, and it's funny, uh, this was like a screen grab of my desktop, and I was doing kind of like Windows, Windows hacking, and I don't know if you can see, do I have like a little, I thought I had a, a laser. Do I have a laser? I want a laser. How do I laser? I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, up at the top uh, were the three browsers, well, four browsers I was actually testing, and it says... Uh, Internet Explorer 4, Netscape 202, Netscape 3, and Netscape 4. So this is like uh, a, a, a screen grab from my, from my desktop at the time, and uh, I just saw that I was testing against those four browsers. And again, you know, this stuff was, was terrible. Um, it, it wasn't that, that pretty, and I was, again, trying like a lot of different things, like uh, uh, mashing up like the little uh, illustration up here on the right, you know, it's like, happy birthday, Josh. And I was just hacking like uh, video game uh, iconography, like Zelda at the bottom that says PlayStation, but that's all the bushes in Zelda. So I would just copy and paste Zelda and kind of make up my, my own stuff. And uh, I did these like really just bad covers, like, what's that? That's my joystick, wanna touch it? Uh, it just, this, yeah, it, this was the first year of, of, of Josh. Uh, when it was my birthday, I, I dug my name out of Dig Dug and wrote happy birthday, asshole. Um, and again, uh, this early stuff, I was just really trying to uh, figure out kind of what my voice was. And, and during this period, it was like a year that I did this. Um, that's what I was really struggling with. I think we all do as designers is trying to find, you know, my voice, trying to find the voice that, that made me, me. And I wasn't sure that, 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 that this was it. Uh, and so I ended up scrapping all of this. Uh, so uh, this, this whole year of just me kind of joking around and playing, I, I decided to get a little bit more, a little bit more serious. Uh, and so I, I, at the time I joined a studio called Kyokin. Uh, this was our office, which was super uneventful. Uh, it was literally just a white room with a bunch of desks and it was pretty, pretty ugly actually. Uh, and this was Kyokin, and I was here for about um, two or three years or so. And it was here that I, I was really trying to kind of discover uh, my voice. And, th and then PlayStation changes. Uh, I, I, I am trying to figure out this sort of aesthetic, and I, and I kind of walk away from the video game mashup stuff that I was doing. And uh, uh, I was thinking about consistency across design and typeface and color and... And uh, even now, if I look at this stuff, you know, again, it's, it's like, oh, I, I can see how I've, I've matured as a designer, but uh, that first year really was, was the worst uh, in terms of trying to figure out uh, who I wanted to be to, to, uh, to the design community. And so now we'll move into, like, a lot of just the random stuff that I would try that, you know, a lot of people wouldn't see. Uh, so this was fun, like, you know, down at the bottom, I... Uh, I'm a creative coder, which is, I, I typically like to write code that, that generates design. And when you do that, there's a lot of randomness, there's a lot of variables, and because of that, you know, every image typically isn't pretty. Um, there's a lot of trial and error, and we're gonna, we're gonna run through a, a, ton, of, a ton of mistakes. Uh, but 
uh, I think the thing that's important is, is that I was never uh, ashamed or felt that my work was too precious that I couldn't show this bad stuff to everybody. So if anybody remembers, back in 2001, I actually uh, burned my hard drive to, to CD. So uh, this, this CD was, was all of my files and emails and photographs, and it was just everything. I just, whatever my, was on my hard drive, I just burned a CD, and it was like 4,000 files, and people could buy this, uh, uh, this little box set of my entire hard drive, and they could literally just sift through all the crap that I was doing over the, the course of the year. And most of it didn't work, and people would email me like, dude, like half of these files don't work. And I'm like, no shit, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of the point. Uh, so I, I like this idea of just being that, um, you know, being open to, hey, I'm trying to figure this out just like you are. And uh, so that was a really uh, good exercise for me just to, to really open source my life and, and let people into all the weird stuff um, that you're, <laughs> you're going to see in a little bit. Um, so, you know, a lot of times I'm just trying stuff. And again, like a lot of the stuff I don't publish online and a lot of the stuff people never saw. Uh, but I was always, I'm always trying to experiment. And uh, again, it's, you know, the theme of this conference is, is, is ugly. And uh, the, for me, the, that's that's a daily fight for me, right? It's like navigating through this ugly stuff to get to the stuff that I think is is pretty, um, and and making those mistakes and failing and not making good decisions and deciding that Comic Sans is kind of an okay web you know typeface, you know, no, it's not. <laughs> and oh, hey, I, I I made you posters by the way, and you're all getting a a really ugly poster, <laughs> and it does have Comic Sans on it. <clears throat> and lens flare, which I think is hilarious. I had has anyone used lens flare lately? Like I had not pressed lens flare in like a good 16, 17 years, and I was like, I got to make an ugly poster. I was like, I should fucking lens flare. I'm like, and then it dawned on me. It's like, oh my god, I totally have not lens flared in like 16 or 17. I was very excited, <laughs> very excited. It's like, when was the last time that you pressed lens flare? I'd be like, holy shit, I think it's been a couple of years. Like it's been like 17 years for me. I did it. It worked. Uh, Anyway, uh, so trying stuff, you know. Oh, Putty Tang, yeah. Oh, I was in that movie. What do you know? Uh, so this was kind of an ob obsession of mine is, is, uh, is figuring out Photoshop, and uh, you're going to see how dark that hole goes in a bit. Uh, but again, a lot of this stuff was just me trying to figure out me, and um, you know, I, and some of this earlier stuff where, and again, just the short story is I write code to make art. I write code to make design, and a lot of times this code is so random and so unpredictable that about 99% of the time, the worst, the work that it makes is is actually pretty pretty ugly. Um, you know, it takes a, a lot of, of changing of the variables and a lot of cleanup in Photoshop or Illustrator to make this stuff uh, stuff pretty. But a lot of times I was just like, let it go, just do anything. And I would, you know, just randomly uh, attach a bunch of shit on screen and just these, these things would, would happen. 